Okay, we are on Unit 1, the Pythagorean Relationship of your Math 8th booklet. We are on page 12. So you can turn to page 12 and we will continue our lesson for 3.4. With a highlighter or a pen or a pencil, you are going to highlight what I highlight. Important note, when solving for the missing side of a right triangle, Remember to note whether you are looking for the hypotenuse, then you have to add the squares, or if you have the hypotenuse and are looking for one of the smaller sides, we would need to subtract the squares. No matter your calculations, the hypotenuse will always remain the longest side of your right triangle. Let's read that again and highlight. When solving for the missing side of a right triangle, remember to note whether you are looking for the hypotenuse. You must add the squares. You are looking for the hypotenuse. You must add the squares. Or if you have the hypotenuse, you know that sine length, and are looking for one of the smaller sides, we would need to subtract the squares. So if you are looking for hypotenuse, add squares together. You know the hypotenuse, subtract. No matter your calculations, the hypotenuse will always remain the longest side. Hypotenuse equals longest side of your right triangle. Question, example two, question A. Determine if the following triangles are right triangles. Hint, does it follow the Pythagorean relationship? What's the Pythagorean relationship? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And again, I apologize, this is overlapping. Or in other words, I need to find the smaller side squared plus the other smaller side squared should equal the biggest side squared. So I have a triangle with a side length 24, 7 centimeters, and 25 centimeters, which is my biggest side. Is the big side or the hypotenuse. So then my relationship would be 24 squared plus 7 squared has to equal 25 squared. 24 times 24, 576. Some of you may have worked ahead. Make sure you check your answers are correct. 7 squared, 7 times 7, we know is 49, equals 25 squared, 25 times 25, 625. All right, 576 plus 49. What is it? 625. 625 equals 625. The two smallest sides squared equals the biggest side squared. Yes, you need to answer. If it says, check if it's a right triangle, you need to answer. Yes, it is a right triangle. Okay, our second square. We have two side lengths of nine. And our hypotenuse biggest side is 14. So my formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 9 squared plus 9 squared should equal 14 squared. 9 times 9 is 81 plus 81. 14 times 14. can check my interactive notebook or I can calculate 14 times 14 196 
81 plus 81, 162 does not equal 196. Not a right triangle. We also know that because we know we have like two of the side lengths that are the same. This is not going to be a right angle. So it is not a right triangle. Okay, last question. You will see this in your textbook. The challenge question. It's going to give me two side lengths that I don't know. I need to find the side of X and Y. So I'm going to look at side X first because I think I have enough information in my smaller triangle to solve. So I don't know what X is, but I know I'm going to put that as my side A. I know my B and my hypotenuse C is 5. Now I can solve. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A squared I don't know plus 3 squared equals 5 squared. A squared plus 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 5 is 25. Now I have my hypotenuse. I have this side length. So that means I need to subtract. If I don't have my hypotenuse, that means I have to add together. So I'm going to subtract 9, subtract 9, a squared equals 16. To find a, I need to find the square root. a equals 4. Now I know that x equals 4. So this is going to be 4 right here. Now I need to find y of the larger triangle. I had that this side length is 4. This middle number no longer applies. I have the side length is 4. My a still, my hypotenuse. C, I don't know. This side length. I have two numbers here. What does that mean? If this triangle is 3 and this distance here is 3, 3 plus 3 equals 6. That is the distance from here to here. 6 meters. Now I can solve. I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 4 squared plus 6 squared equals what? Pause the video and finish the question. What is the side length y? Okay, so by now you should have found out 4 squared plus 6 squared is 16 plus 36. Add those together, we get 52. Find the square root. Round to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to put this into my calculator. Second function square root 52 equals 7.21. So I'm going to round to 7.2. You have all of the tools to complete the questions in your textbook. They are due tomorrow. Your unit test on all of this, all of chapter 3, is on Friday. So pages 104 to 105. The assigned problems are at the bottom of page 12. You need to complete questions 3, 4, 6 to 9, 11, 12, 14, and 16 you need to attempt. Try your best.
Good luck.